So the Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Fight the good fight of faith. And Jesus says, strive to enter the kingdom of God because many will try and will not be able. Many passages like this talk about the work that we must do, the striving, the effort, the labor that we must do to fight the good fight of faith, to strive to enter the kingdom, to work out our salvation. And I remember back when I was very heavy in my anti-Protestant apologetics and defense of the Catholic faith, I asked um, one of the seminary professors at the evangelical seminary I was going to at the time, um, because he was very big on resting in Christ um, as really a key to receiving the fruits of the Spirit and being sanctified, being delivered from sins and things like that. And I said, well, so what do you do with these passages that say, you know, like, strive to enter the kingdom of God? What then do you consider this striving to be? And he said, well, it's it's resting. That's what it, that's what it refers to is letting go of all this, it's on me, and, and resting in Christ. And, it, and when I heard him say that initially, I was like, okay, that's the exact opposite of what it actually says in the text. Like, I didn't say this in class, but I was thinking, like, that's not a good interpretation of the text. Like, that's not what it says. Um, but I've come to realize there's a lot of wisdom. There's a lot of wisdom in what he said. And it's fight the good fight of what? fight the good fight of faith so what what striving do we need to do what what working do we need to do what fighting do we need to do and I think it's this I think it's fighting to always remember that it has nothing to do with us that's one part fighting and striving and always rejecting my own self-righteousness, my own works righteousness, my own ability to achieve it, my own worthiness, my own merit, my own entitlement, always fighting to say no, 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 and to say yes to receiving it and to in some sense having a certain possession of it, not because, not because I had anything to do with it, but only because he gives it as a free gift. So that's one part of our striving, is that always we have to fight against this tendency on our part to want to earn it, to want to claim it, to want to achieve it based on our own efforts, based on our own, our own merit, our own worthiness. That's one part of what we need to strive to do, is to strive to rest in him. The other part is to strive and to work Let me think about how to say this. Saving faith is not merely intellectual assent to the facts of what Jesus did. Ideally, when Paul talks about the faith of Abraham, the, the believe in your heart type of faith that justifies, that kind of faith includes within it a certain allegiance, a certain desire, a certain affection, for Christ and for what it means to be with him, which which includes holiness, which includes humility, which includes selflessness, chastity, things like that. And the resting in Christ, the saying yes to Christ, is a saying yes and a resting in him who is humble and chaste and pure and selfless. So we need to fight the good fight because it's not that if we fall into one of these sins one time or two times or three times that we automatically lose our, our salvation, our relationship with Christ. However, if we are not careful, if we are not judicious, if we think I can do this on occasion here and there, then there is a great, great danger that if we go down that path, we will stop desiring to be with him who is chaste, who is humble, 
who is pure and selfless and holy, will stop desiring to be with him and will start desiring those other things more. So what does it mean to strive to enter the kingdom of God? What does it mean to work out your salvation? What does it mean to fight the good fight of faith? It does not mean earning your salvation. In fact, it means the opposite, that it always, everywhere, you have to fight the tendency to think that it has anything at all to do with your own merits, your own achievements. It has a fiduciary, a trust, an assurance that has to be utterly opposed. You have to fight against and strive against every moment of your life to ever think that by this action here or there, I am somehow going to achieve or earn my salvation. And this applies to you whether you're in grace or not in grace. It's always a free gift of God. It's always by His grace. You have to have the empty hand of faith to receive the gift. And also, the other part is being judicious against temptations not because you think that if you fall into one temptation or two temptations here and there that you're automatically losing your salvation but because if you if you think that you can do one or two sins here and there you're on a very dangerous very slippery slope to going to a point where you may no longer desire to be with Christ more than you desire those sins. So what does it mean to fight the good fight of faith? What does it mean to strive to enter? What does it mean to work out your salvation with fear and trembling? It means be judicious about falling into sin because those things can lead to a loss of faith. And it means always rejecting your own ability to achieve or earn or merit based on your own performance. And always embracing the free and certain and assured gift of God and walking in that assurance and that gratefulness that comes to you despite your own unrighteousness, despite your own not deserving it, despite the fact that you yourself in this very moment deserve, objectively, you have sinned, you deserve condemnation. So what does it mean? That's what it means. That's what I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it means. I just want to share that with you guys. Uh, may God uh, guide all y'all as you listen to this and think about it. Jesus love you. All right.